A warm greetings to all my lovely students. This is your English teacher, Mrs. Janaki Biswas. And I am once again back with your English classes. Students, today in this video, we will be doing a poem. And the name of the poem is Grasshopper Green. And the poet or the writer you can say, the writer is anonymous. That means an unknown person. We don't know any detail about the writer. But students, this is a poem about an insect. And which insect? As the name suggests, it is grasshopper. So we will come to know a lot many details about grasshopper. And here students, the name of the poem, it is grasshopper green. That means, what is the color of the insect? The color of the insect is green. So, here we will learn about different things which this insect that is grasshopper does. Like what he wears, what he eats, where he lives and what he likes to do. So, students, let's start. Grasshopper Green is a comical chap. He lives on the best of fair. Bright little trousers, jacket and cap. These are his summer wear. Out in the meadows, he loves to go. Playing away in the sun. It's hoppity skippity high and low. Summer's the time for fun. Grasshopper Green has a quaint little house. It's under the hedge, so bright. Grandmother Spider, as still as a mouse, watches him through his flight. Gladly, he is calling the children, I know, out in the beautiful sun. It's hoppity skippity high and low, summer's the time for fun. Students, just now you heard the poem. Now let us do the summary of this poem. And as the name suggests, you will learn lot of details about the insect. And which insect? It is grasshopper. Now, the poet is telling, although he is a known person, but the poet is telling that grasshopper is a very funny fellow. Comical means funny and chap means fellow. And students, what does he eat? He eat the best food. Means whatever he eats, it is the best, best in quality. And then the poet describes about his dress. That during the summer time, you will be astonished and shocked to know what does he wear. He wears a trouser, a bright little trouser, a jacket and a cap. This is the thing which he wears during the summer time. And then he likes to play under the hot sun. So what we do students during the summer? We try to stay indoors. And grasshopper, he feels very fresh during the summer time. And he wears trousers, jacket and a cap. And he goes to the grassy field which is known as meadow. He goes to the grassy field and plays there under the Hot sun. And then, how does he play? How does he enjoy? He's, it is shown by the movement. The word which is used here is hoppity and skippity. This shows how delicately he jumps up and down, high and low. And where is he jumping, students? He is jumping in the grassy meadow. That means the grassy field. So he alone he is enjoying in the grassy field under the sun. Then the poet describes about his house. Where does a grasshopper live? Grasshopper's house is under a hedge. Or generally a grasshopper makes a grasshopper makes his house under a hedge. And it is a very pretty house 
and this pretty said students in a very funny way. A quaint little house. That means a little house, it is very pretty, but here it is said in a very funny way. So, grasshopper is having a house like us. He wears the dress like us and he plays in the grassy fields like you all children play. And then the movement is again described and when he is moving up and down, high and low, it shows the enjoyment and the fun which the grasshopper is having. And at the corner, a spider, very still, as quiet as a mouse. So the spider is compared with a mouse. So grandmother spider, the spider is named as grandmother because the spider is doing nothing. And in a very passive mood, the spider is sitting and just watching the grasshopper. So the spider, what is the spider doing? The spider is very still and dull like a mouse. So it, is, it has been given the name as grandmother. So the grandmother spider is sitting and watching the playful grasshopper. Now students, the last bit of the poem, that means the last paragraph. In the last paragraph, the grasshopper is very happy and the grasshopper is calling all the children to come out and play. As the grasshopper is enjoying that and taking that, I mean, it is in full fun mode, enjoying. So the grasshopper is calling all the children to come out and play with him. And again here, the movement is described again in the last lines. The type of movement that means delicately the movement of the grasshopper that is up and down. Slowly it is leaping and coming down. And similarly it is, uh, I mean it, uh, the dress is also described here. So with all these descriptions again at the last paragraph the grasshopper in a happy mood is calling all the children like you all to come out and play with him. So students with this we have completed the summary of the I am once again repeating it in short. So it is the total description of the grasshopper. So the poem is totally dedicated to an insect. And which insect? Grasshopper. And it is green in color. So it, the name is given as grasshopper green. And from the beginning, we can understand that which season is described here. It is the summer season. And still in the summer season, students. What is the grasshopper wearing? He is wearing trousers, jackets and cap. And with that, he goes to a grassy field to play. And who is watching the grasshopper? The spider. And it is very still like a mouse. And then we come to know about the pretty little house which is under the hedge where the grasshopper lives. And do remember... The food, he always eats the best quality, that means the best food. And at last, it is a very enjoyable one and he wants everyone. He wants the children to come and all of them, he wants the children and, and the grasshopper. He wants everyone to come and enjoy the summer and play together. So students, with this, the summary is complete. Hope the summary of this poem is clear to you. In the coming video, I will be doing the detailed reading and explanation of this poem. Till then students, take care and goodbye.